Right then, welcome back to another vid. I bought a new system, so I thought I'd show you what it is. Don't get excited, it's nothing worth getting excited for. But, I am kind of excited in the sense that I got it for a really good price. Even though it's a very common system, and uh, like I say, no one's going to be shocked uh, in jealousy when I show you what it is. Because you've probably got one yourself. But, in fact, let me tell you what it is, and then I'll tell you why I bought it. It is, as I remove the uh, the memory card that came with it, it's uh, a PAL PlayStation 2. That's right, a PAL one over in America. Brilliant. Now, I know a lot of people obviously favour the American stuff. Uh, you know, it runs faster. Does it even run faster on these systems, or is it just kind of the 16-bit era that did that? I, I don't even know. But, um, and I live in America, and obviously it's easy for me to get American stuff, stating the obvious. But, also stating the obvious, a lot of you will be aware that I'm a very overly nostalgic person. And, uh, and for me, it's got to be PAL for the old stuff, for new stuff, PlayStation 3, 360, next generation, future generations. Obviously, it doesn't bother me at all. American all the way, all the way. Couldn't give a monkeys about anything else. Um, <laughs> but when it comes to the retro stuff, the stuff I had back in the day, then it's got to be PAL for me. It just brings back all the memories. Now, even though it's a PAL PlayStation 2, I was actually looking for a PlayStation 1. By the way, this came with a few games. Some of them are rubbish, but it came with it, but I'll show you them in a minute. So yeah, I was looking for a PAL PlayStation 1, because I'm really trying to get back into the PlayStation 1 era. and Because I loved it, you know, at the time. I nearly said back in the day again there. I loved it at the time, and I know the graphics have aged a little bit. That whole 3D look is a little bit, well, very dodgy these days, isn't it? With the, uh, the PS1, the, the Sega Saturn, and the N64. For the most part, the games look rubbish, but some of them do look great as well. And it just brings back a lot of memories, so I, I thought to myself, I'm going to look for a PlayStation 1. So I went on eBay.com in America, as I do every now and again anyway, and put in like, you know, PAL, PS1, PAL, Dreamcast, PAL, whatever, just to see what's going. And there wasn't a PAL PlayStation 1, but what there was was this, a PAL PlayStation 2. Now, I have seen a few of these before. It's not uncommon. I mean, it's once in a blue moon you kind of see one, but it's not as if it's mega rare or anything. And in the past as recently as maybe, I don't know, six, seven months ago, maybe about a year actually thinking about it. But there was a couple on eBay, they were both boxed, and I nearly bought them, very, very nearly. They did come with some good games, but the price they were asking for was kind of silly. It was, I think, like $200 with a best offer, and the most I was prepared to go was about 120 on both, which is quite a lot, $120. But I figured that if I had to import this from the UK, you're probably looking at $50 on top, and I just like, can't be bothered with the hassle. And then the delivery, will it get lost, will it get damaged? Just get it from America, you know it's going to be, well, pretty much fine. So I always was trying, you know, um, in an ideal world, to get the PlayStation stuff or PlayStation 1 or a 2 delivered from America. It was just a case of waiting for the right deal at the right price and all the rest of it. So this one came up and it was a PlayStation 2, like I say, well, as you can see, and it was at a starting price of $15. Now, there was only, I reckon, what was it? Let me see. Well, I was looking online and I found it at 9 o'clock or 9 or 10 o'clock at night. <clears throat> so pretty late and it was due to end the next morning around about half seven and I thought well I'll put a bid in anyway I'll probably get out bid but it's not the end of the world I'm not desperate to get one right now but it would be nice if I could so I thought I'm just going to put $15 in which is kind of obvious what I got it for now I'll just put $15 in if I win it great if I don't I don't so next morning comes around and uh, I you know I get up early anyway as I usually do sometimes and um yeah, I went on eBay and I didn't put in another bid. In fact, I completely forgot about it. And then around about 20 minutes after the auction, I thought, well, I better check it out. And it transpired that I'd won it for $15, which is an absolute steal. $15 being around about 10 quid. <coughs> Excuse me. So really happy with that. Like I say, it comes with... Um, did I even show this? I can't remember. Memory like a sieve. comes with an official memory card. 8 megabits, brilliant. Or megabytes. comes with two controllers. Side. <laughs> you don't want to see the leads. I don't think you do anyway. I, always, well, I will actually just for the purpose of this, but it does make me laugh when people, and I've probably done it myself, so I'm not having a, having a dig. It's kind of funny really and quite, uh, quite charming in a way. But uh, we'll all do like, you know, unboxing the consoles and we'll go, leads? Who cares? Who wants to see the leads? Oh, actually, you might want to see this one. It's got the, uh, the American kind of plug with the, the European or British, whatever, plug going in there which means I can use it, which is very handy, of course. Now, I do have a step-down transformer anyway for my Sega Dreamcast, again, PAL. So I didn't need that, but it's nice to have a spare one. You know, it's not going to do any harm. So, yeah, uh, it comes with the controllers. 
and comes with a few games which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I really want to get back into the PlayStation 1. Of course, this plays PS1 games as well, remember, that's, that's why I got it. But also, I guess this can open the door for the PlayStation 2 to a degree. Now, the PS2 is a dangerous system, really, because the games are so cheap and, um, you know, it's very easy to build a massive collection of games and then get into a situation where, the, you know, the actual collection you've got owns you and you don't own that. I know I was watching Crash Test Gaming the other day talking uh, pretty much on that, those same lines about his, um, what was it, American Super Nintendo collection. And he's got rid of a lot of it because he started to feel like it was getting out of control. And if any system really can get out of control, it's this. But um, I don't think mine will get out of control, he says. If it does, and this is where it started, this very vid. But no, I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting into it. Because the PlayStation 2, when it came out, you know, yes, I did have one. In fact, I had several. And then lastly, I had the Xbox. But I've touched upon this before. It was never a system at any stage where I was really into it, where I was hardcore. Never. Because just after, or at the start of the millennium, was a time where I started to go off gaming a little bit. And I was more into my, you know, going to music, like live gigs, and just going out with my friends, going to the football, and playing the guitar, all that kind of stuff. And gaming very much took a back seat. And the only time, really, obviously now and again I'd go on it if, you know, I was at home bored, I'd go on it then. But more often than not, it was reserved for my friends. You know, when they came round, we'd have a laugh on things like Grand Theft Auto. Um, the Pro Evolution games was probably the, the most popular one we played. Burnouts and whatever else. Um, Gran Turismo's, which is one of the games here. And we go on stuff like that, and we really liked it, but it was just for fun. Obviously, nothing serious about it. And then... That moved on to the 360, which I got into by chance. I've touched upon it before, and I'll, I won't go on, uh, go over that again in this vid. But yeah, anyway, so in a nutshell, the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox era, that whole kind of generation, was something I, I never really got into. I did have quite a few games, you know, throughout those six or seven years, but I, I don't really know a lot about it. It's, it's an era which kind of skipped me by, even though I had the systems, as I just touched upon. So yeah, I really want to get back into it, the PlayStation 1 in particular. In fact, I've really got back into the mid to late 90s in a, in a massive way lately. The whole PS1 thing, the Sega Saturn, the N64. And I can definitely see myself you know, picking up a lot more games from here on in from those generations. But I'm not going to go mental. I mean, this is the first pickup I've done for absolutely ages. In fact, this year, you know, we're already in what mid, late August really. I've hardly bought anything, hardly bought anything this year, as you probably would be able to uh, to confirm and testify because the pickup videos just haven't been there but they'll return eventually but I guess I've just got to kind of figure out what I want and what I don't want and that's what this last year has, has kind of been all about for me with gaming this is what I want that's what I don't want don't waste money on this etc etc uh, whether I've wasted money on this time will tell but I don't think I have $15 man remember that $15 come on it's a tenner so anyway these are the games like I said there's some rubbish ones but they came part of the bundle so it's just the way it is. I'm not going to open up, uh, open them up, sorry, to see if they're boxed and complete. You don't care, and I certainly don't. Um, but anyway, Madden 2005. Side. <laughs> you know what they look like. The American ones, of course, are um, they're all they've all got different colours on there, which to some they prefer. But I kind of like this. I like the uniformity of it. It can look a little bit maybe too regimented if there's you know hundreds of games. But I don't really intend, he says to ever get a collection of PlayStation 2 games like that. Whoa, nearly dropped out there. Put that back in. Um, but you never know, because like I said, the PS2 is a very dangerous system uh, to own in that sense. Next one up is Rapala Pro Fishing. We're kind of dealing with some dodgy stuff here. But I, I don't know, I reckon I could like something like this. I reckon I could enjoy it. Very relaxing and all the rest of it. Total Overdose, never heard of it before. But it looks familiar, actually. Maybe just through watching possibly some of you guys picking it up in the past. What a name this is. Big Mother Truckers 2. Truck Me Harder. What the friggin' hell's this? Mental. Truck Me Harder. What's that all that about? Oh, it's just like a, oh, fair enough, it's like a driving truck kind of burnout -y kind of game. And then the last three games are actually pretty decent. As far as I'm concerned, those are rubbish. But you might think otherwise, I don't know. Um, but yeah, these three games are all games that I had originally, and I'm really pleased to get them back. So the first one up is, let me just see, and it is complete. I said I wasn't going to have a look, but this one I did want to complete, and it is. And it's uh, GTA San Andreas, a really good game, a classic. Probably, possibly, maybe, arguably, my favourite uh, game in the series. I don't know. 
Next one up is, I like this uh, white, that, by the way, that comes in a, a black case. I think it did back in the day, I'm sure it did. And this one definitely came in a white case because I remember it. And it's Gran Turismo 4. And when I won this auction, going back three or four days, so it arrived really quick, the, the shipping. What I did was I checked out a few of these games, not all of them, but a few just to kind of re-familiarise them with me. And uh, Gran Turismo 4 still looks really good. So I'm looking forward to giving that a crack. And then last but not least is a game I used to really like. Um, and I think I'll really like it again. Obviously the graphics are a little bit dated, clearly, in comparison to the new stuff, that's stating the obvious. But I reckon I still will enjoy this. Now this is a game, even though I had it, I think, I can't confirm or I can't swear to it, I think I had this on the Xbox. But, either way, I had this game. And it's Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30. Okay, so, nice little bit of editing yeah, there. Really looking now, forward to playing. in the past, whilst making a vid, I've been disturbed by a telephone call, I've been disturbed by people, animals, I've been disturbed by someone knocking at the door, but never, up until now, have I been disturbed by a shower curtain falling on the bloody floor. But it did, that's what happened there. And it made this kind of almighty noise. And uh, I'm the only one in the house at this moment in time, so I thought, what the hell's that? Well, apart from the cat. But apart from that, uh, it's just me. So I wonder what the hell it was. And um, got up, shower curtain. So that's that. So anyway, two surmise, seven PlayStation 2 games. And yeah, I'm excited to have them. Maybe not all of them as such, although I will put them all on for a bit of fun. Um, I'm kind of looking forward in a, in a weird way to putting this on just for a, a quick five minutes. It doesn't look too bad, but it makes me laugh though, because ironically, American football is something which I'm less into now than I used to be. You know, uh, I guess the reason is because of the time difference, I imagine, thinking about it. You know, back in the UK on a Saturday or a Sunday night, you know, when these games are kind of taking place, you're looking at one or two o'clock in the morning. So nobody watches it because obviously it's, it's on so late. But me being the night owl, uh, night owl that I was and am and always will be, I used to stay awake to, to stupid o'clock in the morning. So I'd watch it. Whereas over here, it's on obviously a, a very normal time of the day. But I'm always busy and I'm doing stuff. So I never watch it here, ever. And I've completely fallen out of the loop when it comes to American football. But uh, I digress. So yeah, the three games that I'm really looking forward to play or playing, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, really looking forward to playing that. Not just really, really. <laughs> Next up is Brothers in Arms. That should be fun to put on. And uh, last but not least is Gran Turismo 4, which still looks quite good from the YouTube video I was checking out the other day. But whether it actually looks good to the naked eye or not, well, that remains to be seen. So, yeah, seven games, really pleased. Two controllers, the memory card. And, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting back into the, into the PlayStation 2 or, or really, like I say, getting into it for the first time ever, really, uh, because I was only ever a, a very casual, at, at best, PS2 gamer back in the day again. But, yeah, like I say, or like I think I said anyway at the start, the main reason why I've got this, the PlayStation 2, the main reason is actually to play PlayStation 1 games. And what I intend to do, you know, maybe from now onwards, but certainly from next year onwards, which of course isn't very far away, I really want to get back into the PlayStation 1. I want to get back into the N64, if I can, and definitely the Sega Saturn as well. That whole mid to late 90s stuff I really like. I know the games look a little bit ropey in terms of graphics, and I guess you've got to put that down to that 3D look. You know, it hasn't aged very well at all. But, you know, it's charming, isn't it? It looks good, especially if you kind of grew up. Uh, to, I say grew up. I mean, I was kind of in my late teens by that point, I guess, or mid to late teens. So yeah, I technically still grew up in that era. But, um, but yeah, I mean, my thing, my kind of era for, no for nostalgia is the late 80s, the early 90s. That's my main thing. Nothing will change. That is what I love more than anything in regards to nostalgia. But the mid to late 90s is something I'm really getting back into in a massive, massive way. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm just wittering on now. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Really pleased with this. And $15? Come on, that's a bargain. £10, basically. And even if it's really common, uh, you know, a console which you've probably got and everyone else has, has probably got, it's, I think for that price you can't argue. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.